Welcome to class. You will need two yoga blocks. So grab one for right now and take the wide weight and place it in between your legs on your sit bones, bringing the tops of your feet down and I'll show you from the side position. You want to have the tops of the feet down just so that you can sit up tall, but you're also getting an ankle stretch. You can totally do this position, Virasana, without the block, but I'm giving a little reprieve just to do with the block. And it might help you for the other work we're gonna do. So I recommend trying it this way. And then if you wanna take the class again, you can try without the block. Okay, so sitting up tall, and I want you to think about cat cow. So place your palms on your thighs. Inhale, lift your chest, look up, and exhale, round. Inhale, lift, exhale, round. Keep spreading the toes. Inhale, lift, exhale, round. And one more. Inhale, lift, exhale, round. Now come back to a neutral spine. Cross your arms. Now, technically you want to cross them higher, but my mic is in the way. So I'm going to cross them like this. And I want you to just draw circles with your torso. Actually, let me say it like this. Feel your rib cage going around your pelvis, your the top of your hips. Okay, so you're trying not to move anything except your rib cage. And you should feel almost like a crunch idea, getting those abdominals to fire. Now pause, cross the opposite way, and then reverse the circle. And I want you to go slow so you really feel that engagement. Staying with your breath and go slow, feeling that movement of your rib cage and really getting those abdominals to do some work. Okay, and slowly come back to center. Now, stay in this position, bend your elbows, make a fist, and then turn the knuckles to face out and circle around. So by keeping the elbows in, you can really focus on just the wrist moving versus the arm moving. I really want you to take care of the wrist and reverse the circles. Keep sitting up tall, draw your tailbone down. Okay, shake it out. Have your blocks nearby because we're gonna use them at different points. Okay, come into quadruped, spread the fingers, curl the toes, lift the heart. Exhale, cat round the spine. Inhale, curl the toes, lift the heart. Exhale, round. Inhale, curl the toes, lift the heart. Exhale, round, and one more time. Inhale, lift. Exhale, round. And now slowly come into a flat back. Okay, from this position, bring your, actually, no, we're gonna do this one first. So take your left and make sure you have mat space because I want you to be able to push. So move to the back of your mat because I tend to always run on a mat space when I do this. Left palm forward. Oh, and you need to take off your watch. It will interfere with getting into the position correctly. So left palm forward, reach the right arm up, look up and thread it underneath the left armpit. Lower the side of the head down. Okay, so now you're pushing with the left palm, straight arm. Pull the right shoulder blade away from the spine and your right hip toward the left. Okay, so do that. And then I have one more part. Stay here. Keep drawing that left armpit toward the mat. Now, curl the left toes. Lift the knee and slide the leg back and close the hip. And just notice how much deeper this threading is. Pushing through the left heel, make sure that hip doesn't open. And see if you can keep that leg straight. Press with the left palm. And slowly lower the knee down, slide the left palm back, lift up, slide the right arm through and look up, lower down. Make sure that your head and neck stay in line so that you're not collapsed when you're in that position. 
and see with your breath. Keep the hip closed. Okay, so now take the right palm forward. Inhale the left arm up. Exhale, thread it through. And then straighten the arm. Okay, so again, push down with the right palm so the right elbow faces the mat. And pull that shoulder blade away from the spine. Left hip toward the right. And now curl the right toes, slide it back and push and see if you can close that right armpit toward the mat. Pull that left shoulder blade away from the spine. Can you straighten that right leg? You are also balancing. And slowly lower the knee down, slide the palm back and unthread, look up and lower down. Curl your toes, sit on your heels, and you can put your watch back on if you have it. If you're using metrics when you're on your mat, I always do. Okay, so now in this position, we're gonna play with the feet a little bit. So keep sitting up tall, keep the bottom ribs toward your hip bones so you have this bracing action. This is very, very subtle. Make sure you get that pinky toe because you don't want it going the opposite way. So you're gonna walk the knees forward a tiny bit, feel that deeper toe stretch, you're still weight bearing, and then walk the knees back up. You can place your palms on the thighs, walk the knees forward, and walk the knees back. And one more time, walk the knees forward, and walk the knees back. And now just sit up tall, broaden the chest. Release the palms down and just shake out those feet. You can roll them out. Go in all kinds of different directions. Okay. So we're coming into Balasana. So bring the knees wide, but we're going to make it active in terms of getting length and playing with a twist. So first shift back. Now I'm going to keep my head up and down so you can hear me without interference. Straighten the arms, lengthen the spine, and I want you to push down with the palms and energetically pull back so that you feel your spine stretching. So you're reaching forward, pressing down and pulling back, but you're not bending the elbow. I really want you to feel the, the traction of the spine. So I'll show you once, but I really want you to feel this so you can even place your forehead on the mat and just pull back. You should feel it all along the ribs on either side going towards the shoulder and the armpit. So we're gonna go deeper with that. So from this position, walk the palms to the upper left corner of the mat. So keep the right palm on the mat, left palm off the mat. Okay, so now same principle, keep your nose facing the mat. You can try with your head down and see how that feels. Push down and now energetically pull that right sit bone back into the left. Feel that stretch on the right armpit and ribs. Stay, stay, stay. Breathe into it. And now slowly release, come back to center. See if you can get a little bit more length. And slowly walk over to the other side. So keep the left palm on the mat, right palm down, push down and pull back energetically with the left left palm, left hip. And slowly come back to center. Now slide your palms back for a moment and you wanna bring your knees to touch and you can come forward a little bit, just so you have some mat space. So I want you to really think about a good twist here. So from here, so the toes are pointing down on the mat, rotate over to the left. Take your right elbow to the mat. This is where you can also use a block. And I would recommend if you're not there, which is totally fine, you can go like this to level the floor up to you to get into this position. So you're really trying to bring those palms closer to the sternum, the thumb closer to the sternum, and then the head and the neck in line with the spine. This is no easy feat. I'm gonna show you without, okay? So here, and you're in that compression, and push down and keep twisting. And see if you can go a little bit more. Keep pushing, twisting, breathing, enjoying the moment. 
You can even smile and now release. Now, one thing that tends to happen, and it just did for me, is that when you twist, so when you, we twisted to the left, did your left sit bone lift? If it did, that means you're, you're tight and getting that twist. So try and keep your hips from moving because that's the whole point. To get the twist, the hips can't move. Let's do the other side. If you did the block, let's just do the blocks. Let's just do the blocks together. So the first one, I'm gonna move over just so there's more mat space. Take the blocks down like I had you do them before, side by side. And now right, sorry, left elbow outside the thigh, right palm on top of left, push down and twist. And if this feels easier for you, I really want you to go for it so that you can keep rotating the spine, checking with the head of the neck and breathe into the upper back. Now release, and let's try it without the blocks. So left elbow out the thigh, outside the thigh, place the palm on top. Can you keep that right sit bone down? As you rotate, look up. Can you get those thumbs closer to the sternum? Breathe into that upper back, and slowly release. And now just take a moment to bring I'm not really going to do it too much so you can hear me. So bring your forehead down and palms face up and just release your neck. And just so you can hear me, I'm coming up. So your chin is to your chest, you're rounding your neck and your upper back, and the shoulders will round forward and down so you can get that opening after that engagement. And go for one more breath. Okay, slowly draw yourself upright and take the blocks and move them to the front and back of your mat. So we're just gonna go from side to side. So place the palms down, curl the toes, downward facing dog, bend the knees and straighten the legs. Bend and straighten, bend and straighten, and one more, bend and straighten. And how the left leg up, bend the knee, open the hip. Exhale the foot between the palms. Pivot the right heel down and open up to warrior two. So sink into your warrior two. Keep the hips and the chest facing the side of the mat. Straighten the left leg. Reach long from the hip joint, back of the palm to the shin, right arm to the sky. Squeeze that right glute so the legs are energized or pushing down and out and there's a couple ways to do this but right now push down and out you should feel a nice inner thigh stretch okay bend the knee open up warrior two and now pivot into your high lunge position wiggle your feet over to the left just a little bit sorry over to the right just a little bit inhale and exhale twist look to the back of the mat straighten the legs and hop your back foot forward okay so now from here reach for the block and place it outside and outside the left ankle left palm on the hip here's the thing step wide actually I went to a little, a little too wide so you want to be grounded on that back foot and try the medium block you can also do the high so we'll start with the high okay so now from this position strong legs energetically pull you can use your thumb to pull that left hip back and left arm to the sky strong legs can you keep squaring the hips and rotating the spine just a little bit more strong legs stay strong stay strong start to draw your torso upright stay strong into that twist as you come up Pivot the arms forward, lift the right heel, and bring your foot to your calf, palm to heart center. Okay, and then toe tap out to the side and to the calf. Out to the side, to the calf, side, calf, side, calf. And step back, 
open into your warrior two, and yes, the block was hitting me, it probably was hitting you. Move the block to the side, and pivot over to the right. And just bring your block in a little bit so you don't have to reach so far. Okay, so warrior two, sink into your warrior two. Keep the hips and the chest facing the side of the mat. Straighten the leg. Get long. Squeeze that left glute, trikonasana triangle. So feel that length in the upper body and the lower body. Keep squeezing that left glute, looking up. Bend the knee, warrior two. Pivot to high lunge. Inhale and exhale, twist and look back. Now from here, stay in the twist, hop your left foot forward till the heel's flat. And just wiggle a little bit, just so you have some space for the block. Reach forward and down, grab the block, and let's do the highest point, because we did on the other side. Take your right palm to the hip and pull it back. Can you rotate the chest toward the right? Right arm toward the sky. Keep squaring the hips. Can you twist a little bit more? Ground down those big toes. Now keep this position and slow and controlled, draw your torso upright into that twist. Pivot the arms forward. Palms to heart center. Lift the left heel, step into tree, and then tap out to the side and to the calf and tap, and to the calf, and tap, to the calf, and tap one more, to the calf, and tap, and then draw the knee forward, and step back into your warrior two. Straighten the leg, heel toe the feet together, and just shake everything out, the, the legs and the feet. Okay, how much did the block Next to your leg, when you were doing tree pose, how much did that distract you or even bother you? It's good to know what external elements will interrupt your practice. So anyway, just something to observe. Did it hinder you? Did it help you? And how was the rest of the practice? Okay, you can practice this again, and I will see you soon.